that's wrong. That I hit a button and I went to the wrong camera f first. It's okay. Things happen. But we're here. We're live. <laughs> Happy snowy Saturday. We in didn't spring. do a, a show last week. No. We um had some errands to do and then we ended up getting rowdy over at a friend's house for a movie night. So that was fun. We actually got a lot of wedding things done too. We did. And it was extremely productive and it feels great. So uh, here we are. Hope you guys are excited for our amazing dinner today because honestly, um, it's Kale and I, I don't know if we say it enough, but we really love um, anything Asian when it comes to cuisine. And so it kind of, this is our version of what we love. Yes. Of, some of many drink, like uh, not drinks. Oh my God, dishes. So I'm speaking excited. of drinks, <laughs> first off, we have that. Yes. Um, so I am a super big fan of sake. Um, my background is sushi restaurants, and well, I was there for almost seven years. So we drink a lot of it. And then when I carried on to the city, um, I got to explore more of it because it's much more popular than it is in the suburbs. So. This particular sake is a Jomai Dai uh, Jingo. So it is pretty cool thing about sake, it's made out of rice <laughs> and really, really pure water. The higher the grade the water and the more that the rice is polished while it's being distilled, the better it tastes. So um, like they take each little grain and like... Just polish it. <laughs> no, they don't. I leave that to the experts. I don't know exactly how they polish it, um, but it honestly creates a really cool uh, body of the particular uh, sake you drink, but the water will also flavor enhance um, when you're drinking it too. So is that kind of like when they're making bourbon, they use like was it the limestone water? Yeah. So water in any distilling process is super important. So um, sake is kind of like an alcoholic spirit because the ABV can be really high. Like this particular it's one. It's really strong. It's wine though, right? Yeah, it's wine. Um, or they call it wine, but is it is it not really made the same as wine? Because no, it's not with grapes. It is not. more like a spirit. <laughs> it's kind of like a spirit, yeah. So Rice, you do wine. see it a lot in cocktails, um, which is really cool. Uh, sakes are usually, uh, <clears throat> this one in particular is filtered and there's another one, uh, a, ne a Negori. Well, let's pour one out. Let's oh, see yeah. it. Let's go. Let's drink it. <laughs> Kale's like, let's go. So you drink them in really tiny cups, <laughs> like this. Little but, mini cups. Um, we'll probably have these for dinner, just to slow Deanna down. and Jeff, what's up? Hey. Um, but we could also drink them out of Glen. Joining from too. Naples, holy crap. Naples, who's in Naples? Deanna. Oh, fun. Lucky, sake chugs, yes. <laughs> Uh, the cool no, thing too, Brian, we're going to chug the boxer old-fashioned stuff. The cool thing about sake, too, there's no sulfates in it, so uh, it kind of saves you from a hangover. Um, That's not true. Well, Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you want to drink out of this one or this one? This one. This one. All right. Well, cheers, all. Let's have a sake time. Cheat. What, what? A sake time. Sake to me. Sake to me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not so fun that she's there without me. Aw. <laughs> yo, yo, chug, chug. No chug. That is That's good. That's good. a good one. And so what I'm also doing too, just because... Um, I tried to say we should do sake bombs, but and then... And it was like, absolutely not. That's... She shut that down pretty no. quick. No. And also, that's totally American. It's like a burrito for Mexicans. Americans made it Yeah, but it burritos are so good. They're so good. Sake bombs are good. No. Okay. But... <laughs> so for the entree... Oh, wait. Um, I'm also going to get some tea going. Okay. Let's, we're going to get some tea going. So... You see a lot when you eat, um, especially Japanese food, um, Chinese food, people drink a lot of tea. We are gonna be doing, may I get a spoon? A spoon. We are gonna be doing um, some hot tea in this cast iron. The cool thing about it, I think she's out. That fire is too high. I got this cool thing. Look at that. From Jasmine's dad. <laughs> Do you want to light this one, Kale? <laughs> let's eat. Let's talk. Come on. Let's. Do you want to? Light we this are one? hungry. We are starving. Yeah. There's too much fire in this thing. There's too much fire, hon. This is too. There we go. I think this only has one speed and it's a... 
It's very, very hot. There ah, we go. We did it. Hey, how's Nobody that? saw that. No, they saw it right in the corner. Okay, so for tonight, Jazz is going to make some tea. She's gonna... got some, what is that, green tea? This is a, a black tea because we didn't get green tea, but... You can't um... see it. Oh, sorry. Um, but I'm what I'm doing is I'm just getting it going so it could steep so when we have um, more drinks, <laughs> by the time we get to dinner, we will feel amazing. Okay, so for dinner, we have all sorts of stuff. We're going to do uh, a tuna tartare, which is basically just raw tuna, sushi-grade tuna, which we have in the fridge. Shout out to Empire Fish again. We went to, back to Empire Fish to get this tuna. We love them. And I'm just pulling it out here. There is our tuna. Uh, let's see. Can you see it better on this camera? Look at that. Look at that chunk of tuna. Super beautiful. So basically, we're just going to cube this up, and that's going to be the um, the protein part of this. Wait, so, Kayla, you mentioned something. You said sushi-grade tuna. Yes, and we were talking about this today. We don't really know. Well, I don't know really what that means. It's just so it's it's safer to eat raw. So you can get like a regular big eye tuna or um, a yellowtail tuna, um, but sushi. But this grade, is yellowtail. It is, but sushi grade it makes it it's certified spec with the FDA. It's safe to eat completely raw. They so, called it double A. Double A. So double sushi A grade. grade. So. Tuna tartare. It's going to be raw. It's going to have the tuna, and it's going to have avocado and cucumber, and a sauce. It's going to be like a, a soy ginger sauce with the tuna, and it's going to be kind of a lime, salt, pepper, cilantro-y kind of sauce with the cucumber and avocado. And there's going to be some onion and stuff in there as well. Um, but first, we need to get started and make. Because with tuna a tartare, you kind of eat it with like a cracker usually. So we're going to take the wonton wrapper here. And we looked all over for these today. We could only find vegan wonton wrappers. I think there's a shortage in it because... So this is what we got. Uh, we're going to get these started. So we you can make these as like a, a regular chip. You can cut them into like... A, like triangles or but i'm kind of want to try something fun and we might completely fail <laughs> there's actually a high probability that we will completely fail but you don't know until you try it so i want to make like a cylinder i'm going to cut these into little strips like this oh that's how you want to do it i was so confused when you were talking about it <laughs> <laughs> i was like what do you want to do <laughs> So I'm gonna make these in like little strips. And I wanna form it, we've already got our oil going, so I'm, I wanna form this around this guy. And then I want to make a, like a sphere, not a sphere, a, a circle of a wonton. But the only thing I'm not sure how is gonna happen, how are these gonna stick together? And usually you like, what do you, use an egg, egg, right? But I'm just going to kind of take some water, which I have right here, and kind of put them together, hopefully. We'll find out real quick if this works or not. But I think this would be really cool if it ends up working. And everyone, we appreciate you always being so cool and fun and interactive with us while we for instance, like when we tried to do sticky ribs for the first time. Yeah, because this is definitely something we've never done before. <laughs> like this this style of chip, I've never done. We've so, only just done it like like in a, a just a whole chip. Everyone's talking about Naples. Yeah, I wanna be I wanna be somewhere warm too. Okay, so here we go. Let's go over to our oil, which is already five million, but I turned it off because it's smoking. So I think this, I don't know, this is not really loose. Only one way to find out. Okay, guys. Wait, that, that seems to get that just off there a little bit. Oh, this is not going to work. I mean, oh, did you wet the, the entire thing? No. Okay, this, we're going to try one. <laughs> you going to do one. You guys ready? I'm ready. 
This is not going to work out well. <laughs> oh, it's already separating. It's okay. It's okay. We'll wait, it's, wait, it might be happening, you guys. Be careful, the metal will be hot, love. I know, it's going to be hot. Can I help you with something? Yeah, I'm trying to get this off of there. Here. Let's, <laughs> uh oh. You guys. Here. Um, here, I got an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I might do this just because it's easier to. Here we go. There we go. Right? Right, guys? This might be too hot. I think it's burning it, yeah. It's okay. Good thing we have You plenty. guys, trial and error. This is great. <laughs> I just want to get it off of it. Let's see. I did it. I did it. Okay. Oh, like, take it out real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Quick. And spin it. Come on. And cook the bottom half. For the first one, I am very proud. <laughs> Look at that. Patience, grasshopper. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Wait, hold, let me go from the top. Ice, warm, humid, beautiful on the beach. I, I, I am probably the most patient person I know. Said that was not, a, that was a Wait, lie. Wait, you're patient? That's a lie. <laughs> Kale's patient? What? That's a lie. I'm patient? Okay. What? So, ow! It's hot. It's metal. <laughs> you guys, it's hot. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Well, that sort of did it. That sort of worked, guys. So I think if you did it thinner, you know. Yeah. Let's try it again. So can I? Can I see? I, I kind of have an idea of like what I was thinking we could do. Okay. Well, let me just try one more. Okay. I will let. Because you I really like this way. You bet. Crank it away, my love. <laughs> <laughs> That's really hot. It's really hot. You guys, it's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hot. Put in some ice water. Yeah, we're gonna have to like, we're gonna have to ice this thing down each time. Uh. It's fine. This is gonna work. Well, I don't know if we really wanna necessarily ice it down because then if it gets water in the oil, we might be in no. a, bad, a bad sitch. It's fine. Okay, here we go. Who's uh, ready? Should I assist you? Do you got it? You okay? I think I got it. Wait, we need to... We need to get this camera back up. <laughs> and then I need to... So we also tempted this oil, and we double-checked to make sure, like, okay... But it was also, we tempted it, and it was like, yep, it's confirmed. Five million. So we turned it off. That one's separating. It's okay. Clamp it back together. Here, I'll hold this side. Teamwork. Cool. Now, take the cylinder out real quick. I'm gonna flip it. Put it on here. There you go. Look at this, guys. And then Look at this, guys! We did it! Are you seeing this? Yay, take it out real quick. It's done. Oh, yeah! You guys, yes, freaking did you guys, it. This is happening. We gotta do the <laughs> all right. So, I think, I think we can do this where it's actually better when it's hot because it kind of sticks, it kind of releases, and it's already kind of oil on it. Here we go, guys. Okay. We go again. What are you doing? Sneezing, sneezing, someone's sneezing over the food. No. Okay, so I'm gonna cut a few more here. Jazz is making some stuff. Do we have three and five? Uh, yeah, we do have three and five. Okay. So I just cut these into triangles, which is really easy because these are gonna be essentially our chips for when we're um munching on the tuna. I'm actually gonna, are you gonna go back in there? Yeah. I'm gonna just do two real quick. 
So for these two, I found this really cool recipe online. Um, and I thought it was really fun. So you could make these chips and then you can just garnish them with uh, some sesame seeds and salt and pepper. And then that's it. Ooh, that one got a little crispy, the one that I, the first one we did. I'm going to just eat that one. Okay, here we go, guys. We're doing it again. Let's get this full screen. Honestly, Kale, I'm super excited it worked out. No! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. No, it's not. Bring it back together. Bring it back together. No. Okay. These ones are these ones are half circles. <laughs> no worries. We tried. It's fine. We only need two. Is it can I The try rest it? are gonna be chips. Okay, so Jazz is trying that. We're gonna attempt this one more time. Where's my, oh yeah, over here. I'm not a big fan of the burnt ones. Nope. Well, no, cause it's burnt. <laughs> That's not good. I'm cooling it off a little bit this time. I'm gonna dry it. So piggybacking into this one, little hot oil, blah, blah, blah. A blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I'm not, as you notice, I'm not overcrowding it. And when I'm frying them, I'm kind of just dapping them down real quick, grabbing them on the corners to flip it. And the moment you see it get a little bit of a, in the light tan color, be very careful because they will burn right away. What will? The oh, wonton. the wonton. See, I didn't cut these perfect this time. It's okay. No, it's not okay. I suck. Kale's a little sad right now. Okay, here we go. I think this one's going to be the one, guys. I think this one is going to be the one. You don't even want to try that one. I'm throwing it out. Not very good. Okay, you guys ready? Get in there. This one's going to be the one. <laughs> okay. Can you hit three? I'm hitting three. Wait, where's the tongs? There you go. I'm gonna lower this. I feel like this might be a little bit on the toasty side. What are you doing? I'm helping you. Oh, okay. <laughs> trust, my love, trust. You guys. You can tell when I'm concentrating because it's like... He's quiet. Very quiet. But <laughs> that means Jazz is going to pick up all the speaking roles. Oh, yeah. This is when I watch him and make sure he doesn't blow anything up. So, I have trust in him. Kale, that actually looks really solid. What do you guys say? For a first time trying to <laughs> pull this off, I would say we're doing good. I think the spinning actually works pretty well. Yeah, and because you're, you're kind of poaching some oil in the center of it too. So where did we get this cylinder thing from? There's a restaurant in Chicago that kind of does it. No, no, where did we get the cylinder piece from? Oh, this is actually a form. It's it, We got it from Sir La Table. Oh, you're right, you're right. It's a form, so look at this, guys. Ah, it's hot, shit, ow. Did you You guys, that's the one I just pulled out of the, wa the oil. Okay. okay, we're okay, we're okay. I need some of the sake. <laughs> I think I need a refill. Mm. Yes, you do. Where to go? In the fridge. So while Jazz is making those chips, I'm going to refill our sakes. And I'm going to spill it. Because that's what happens. And we're going to start working on... Kimchi pancake. The kimchi pancake. So... Kimchi pancake turns out it, it's actually kind of like a batter. Um, so we're gonna have one egg. Let's go here. Egg. 
Shell. Terrible one-handed egg crack. And Dan, our wet ingredients is um, kimchi. This is kind of like the, the juice from the kimchi. This is a rice wine. And that is soy sauce, water, and of course kimchi. And we have more soy sauce. That's for later. So first we're going to get a whisk. And whisk. The whisk is not in the spot where it normally is, but it's fine. So we're gonna put that, we're gonna do the egg, we're gonna do about a tablespoon of soy sauce, quarter cup of water, kimchi juice. Do you guys know what kimchi is? I wonder, does that, has anyone ever tried kimchi? I know Jeff loves kimchi because he told me that. And I love kimchi because Jeff made that kimchi pizza and that was amazing. Oh. I want sake now. Yes. It's good. And then this is a uh, three quarters of a cup plus one tablespoon of flour. And that's going to go in. And this is going to come together like a batter. You want to try it? Yeah. Mm, it's good. So that's kind of like a batter for a pancake. It's a little bit thicker. It's, it's going to loosen up a little bit when we put the, the kimchi in. So the kimchi needs to be chopped up. This is, uh, you want to make sure you drain your kimchi because it's going to have all this liquid in it and it's going to make a really liquidy kimchi pancake. So what you do is you pile it in a rag or a paper towel and you just squeeze it and you get all the kimchi juice out. But now we're just going to kind of chop it up. So it's nice small pieces for the pancake. Like that. I wish I had one of those big like cleavers. You could just chop, chop, chop. We should definitely get one. So this kimchi is going to go in the bowl. There we go. And then we're gonna take four scallions, green onions. We're going to chop those up. Um, my light went out because that's what happens when you... There we go. There we go. If you wa My under cabinet lights are under cabinet lights. If you wave at them, they go out. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool until you're on a cooking show and you wave it and then... <laughs> and then it's like, okay, bye. And then it goes out. And then, <laughs> then you don't want to, to do that. Uh, so we're going to chop this whole green, uh, these whole four green onions up. Uh oh, this one has a Nemo arm. Nemo arm? Because uh, we're going to use half of them for the pancake and half for a garnish. And Jazz, what are you working on over there? I'm almost done frying up our chips, actually. So, just, um, I'm gonna make some strings because I think that would be cool for like a, a topping element. But I'm actually, uh, and you don't have to do this, everyone, but I'm putting some, uh, just a few little like pinches of salt on some of these because I think it would be kind of cool to do as like a, I don't know, like a, a, a salty bite. But of course, like the tuna and the sauce itself are gonna have a lot of that, a lot of the flavor too, so. We're gonna save half of these for a garnish. And now we're gonna stir up all the rest of our business for the kimchi pancake. Look at that. And then you just kind of scoop it out and you put it on a pan and you cook it in some oil. And it'll fry up like a pancake. It smells amazing. And kimchi already has kind of like a tangy, spicy flavor. We didn't get the spicy kimchi. Um, 
because we're adding some peppers to it. Yeah. Actually, you know what? That's what I forgot to put jalapeno in it. I'm gonna do half of this jalapeno. Cool. Just because I know Jazz doesn't do spice as well as I do. <laughs> Cause I mean, like apparently I don't do it very well either. Because you like hot lava? I do hot lava. I do like hot lava. <laughs> Low battery, our iPad's going. Oh no, I'll grab the charger in a bit. You love the cutting board. You know where this cutting board came from? Ikea. This is an Ikea cutting board. Uh, it's not a booze block, which one day I'll have a booze block. But for now, this Ikea cutting board is actually my favorite one. It does the trick. It's solid wood, and, you, and if you keep it hydrated, it's awesome. So I'm chopping these up as fine as I can. Maybe not as fine as I can. I could probably sit here all day. <laughs> and chop them up. Have we ever discussed like why we put our, our produce, like especially like herbs, um, in a glass cup and then some water in the fridge? Nope. You wanna talk about that? Yeah, so does anyone know, like has anyone, does anyone do that I guess most importantly? Because Kale and I find it to be like one of our favorite things to do because it preserves our, our herbs for like what, two weeks? And herbs, like you leave them in a bag in your fridge and they just die. Whereas like this, put it in a cup with some water and they, honestly, the green onions just continue to grow. <laughs> Look at this. It's awesome. We love so, it. Sake time. Sake time. Is that our, is that our uh, sake to me? It's so good. Mm -hmm. I love it. Does anyone like sake too? I guess I should ask. These look awesome. Look at love. Maybe do a quick cam on it. Right? What? Ooh, yeah. So I, I made these cool strings just so we can kind of top them. And then I made a little, a little one. So we did some strings. And you can did tell- Did some chips and did some circles, which some I'm circles. so excited about this one. That one looks really good. That could be yours. Cause I know you like pretty stuff. This one's a little dark. We can get rid of that one and this one too. Cool. Cool. I'm going to put them off to the side right here. Okay. Now. So we're going to actually, this is what the kimchi pancake batter looks like. And now we are going to get started on the tuna tartare. Because this, this fries up really quick once we scoop them into the pan. Yes. Pan. Pan. So I guess for right now, well... I get that going. We should leave the oil going so I can fry the, the mushrooms too, okay? We could do that towards the end. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna need this pan for the kimchi pancakes. Do you wanna use the small one? Is that okay? Yeah, I'll just have to do one at a time. Okay, cool, thanks. Cool, we're doing one at a time. All right, so while we get this going, I'm actually gonna, you know what, I'll hold off on. What did Siri start playing? Hey Siri, play lo-fi. <laughs> play something chill. Okay, here's bedtime beats. Bedtime so, beats. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna get together is gonna actually be our marinade for the tuna. So, we're gonna put the sesame oil, all right, and then we're gonna get our sriracha, our big jug of Costco soy sauce because Costco is the bomb. And we use a lot of it. I think we got this like what, a couple weeks ago? Yeah, it could. Two weeks ago? We, we do a lot of stir fry, so. Um, and we're gonna put a little ginger, and I love the tubes of ginger because you, it's such a pain in the butt to actually peel it and then mince it up and the whole shebang. We're gonna get some chives, and then where is the uh, rice wine vinegar? I thought we had some up here. Um, Did we put it away? I put it away. Hey, get it please. And then, yeah. So essentially this is everything. It's So it's a pretty, Pretty simple process. Um, a lot of these things we already always have in the fridge. Um, Cause well, Kale, like he said, we make a lot of stir fries. I'm sorry, oh my God, yes, Jeff. Kimchi pork belly pizza. Oh my God. It was amazing. Okay, continue. <laughs> the one thing too that I'm gonna add in here um, as well is sesame seeds. Cause I think sesame seeds add a really cool um, color to it when you're mixing it with some really dark, deep, rich sauces. All right. So first things first is and like most sauces, you want to have a little extra. This, you actually don't because 
you um, so most of the time you want to yeah. do a little bit less with this because once you, the way that we're gonna plate it at least, you don't want sauces running down and spilling out onto your plate. So that that's we don't want that. Cool. So I'm gonna get a. Oh, you know I gotta get the half teaspoon too. Pardon me. Thank you, Auntie Lori, for this because we use it all the time and we absolutely love it. So first things first is gonna be a half a teaspoon of the sesame oil. All right, and then we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of our sriracha. We're gonna do a full teaspoon of our soy sauce. We're gonna do a teaspoon of, oh no, half a teaspoon of our ginger. Bing! <laughs> And then... This ginger paste is amazing. We're gonna do, for the rice wine vinegar, we actually use a lot of it. So we're gonna do a teaspoon and a half. So it was like a teaspoon. And then we'll do another half one of these guys. Cool. And then I'm gonna mix it up real quick. Um, the one thing I am missing is our sesame seeds and our green onions, but I will do that at the end. I am gonna taste test this too. Cause I know I like a little pinch of the green onion. Make sure that they're nice and like loose. Like you don't want them to be stuck together. Um, Cause you are gonna mix them in raw with the tuna and there's nothing worse with getting a big bite of it. That's the smallest thing of soy sauce I have ever seen, says Brian. <laughs> right? And I'm gonna do that many teaspoons. So half a teaspoon of white sesame seeds. You that do, many. You could do black, <laughs> but I like the white. I think the white looks really pretty. All right. Mm. Cool. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more sesame oil. Mm, no, I think that's amazing. You think that's good? Oh yeah. Cause we remember we don't want too much liquid. For sure. Okay. So now time to cube up the tuna. Yeah, so it's a little, see how thick it is? It's pretty thick. So we're gonna slice that down the middle this way and then cube it up. Cause we want little small cubes. But I think what I'm gonna do is, so this Oh, you're is, not gonna do that? I'm gonna do it like this. Oh, okay. Perfect. And you wanna make your, sure your knife is nice and sharp. And perfect, and then cool. From top to bottom. We watched this documentary on sushi making and it was amazing and it makes me want to try to make sushi. I think I think we actually were going to attempt sushi one show. We I think have that'll to. be fun. Yeah. Any sushi and that's fans probably going to be at least for me it's it's going to go terribly wrong, I have a feeling. Well, you know, I used to so fun story, when I used to work at Kona Grill, um we actually managers had to learn how to make sushi. So like I learned how to roll and like when we got really busy, I'd go behind the line and roll up some sushi rolls. I, it, they weren't the prettiest, but it was definitely a fun experience. I could make a buttload of spicy tunas and California rolls. That's probably why I hate them because I've made so many in, my, in the seven years of working there. Barley's sitting over here grumbling. Oh, we, have all, we also have a plus one. Yeah, we've got a plus one. Doggy cam. We're house There's sitting. There's Barley We're not and Max. Sitting. Doggy sitting. There's Barley and Max. Kale, should I, I should wait to put the tuna in there, right? We no, did. you can put it in. You can start it marinating. marinating. Yeah. So I did half of that tuna, and I want to just kind of build into there and just see. It's going to be fine. Like we said, we don't want it to, we want it just a little bit of the flavor because the tuna, we want the tuna to be itself, you know? We don't want the tuna to get too much of a flavor of something else. I actually think that's like a perfect amount. It's super dry. <clears throat> that would be a good show. Watch you guys doing sushi. Oh, it's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. So if we put the rest in, it'll be, it'll be great. Okay. So let me cut that. Bar looks so sad he can't be in the kitchen. I know. He totally is. Oh, poor bud. Sorry, dude. 
I love just watching this. The tuna looks so good on camera. Another thing too, all everyone, like you could do this with salmon. Um, and I recommend going to Empire Fish because again, like they have really great quality fish and it's- I think that's the only place we've been able to find double A tuna yeah. in the area. I think the last time we made this dish too was for New Year's Eve, right? Two years ago. Wow, it's been that long? Or no, yeah. no, we made it in my, no, it was, this we, is the third time we made yeah, this dish. This is gonna be the third time we made this one. Also guys, we do have a different drink to sample. <laughs> Not only, we have this too. Some beer, some Kirin. This is what we were gonna do the sake bombs with, and then Jazz said no. <laughs> But I'm going to have one. Does Jazz want one? Or you just want sake? Yeah. I'll, I'll, uh... You can have some of mine. I'll have some with you, yeah. Honestly, let me... I think I'm just going to put a smidge more sauce. I think it's perfect. You think yeah, so? I don't want it to dribble, dribble out. Okay. That's like the biggest thing when we did it that one time and it kind of got... It went everywhere. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. All right, I'm going to put this in the fridge then. I'm going to let it set. Okay. Cool? The second part of this is now we are going to pour this beer. <laughs> All right, drink next. Can you give me grab me another one? Yeah. So the the second so this kind of goes in layers. The bottom layer is going to be the cucumber, um, lime, avocado, cilantro, goodness, and the top layer is going to be a tuna. So that's, that'll be my next thing I'm gonna prep right now is the uh, cucumber and avocado. Let me swap with you. I'm just gonna Clorox the board real quick. Look at those guys. This could be like an ad, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that looks amazing. Well, salut everyone. Cheers. I hope everyone's having a good weekend. Some of us are in the warmness of <sighs> Naples. Some of us are in this, snowy Wisconsin. But this is like, life but is good. But this tastes good. Yeah, life is good. Mm. And then you do it with a little... Little sake. And you drop your sake in. No, I don't. No, you All right. don't. All right. Next component of a dish. We're gonna do that avocado cucumber. So we found avocados at Myers for a really solid price. It was like two bucks for a bag. Yeah. They were super ripe, but that's And okay. I learned to find out if besides squeezing them, you can take the little stem out and you look what color. This one actually might be too overripe. If you look at this color, it's hard to see. It should be this nice green color in there. Is it too overripe? So this, it's actually starting to look brown. So let's see if it's true. Cause I, I saw this online. Sometimes online is not always true. Nope, perfect. perfect. Online is fails you once again. <laughs> it fails you. Once again, online is not true. <laughs> Thanks Google. Oh, Google. Just take a letter. Google, why did you fail me? Whoops, you guys all saw me lick the avocado off my finger. I love avocado. Barley's grumbling. It's seriously one of my favorites. And I'm so glad that Kale likes avocado now too, because I was really sad to find out he didn't like it when we first started dating. I always like guacamole. You do. All right, so I took- So this, yeah, you're gonna peel that, right? Yes, yeah. so essentially what I took was Two, uh, two baby avocados, you take one full avocado, and then honestly, a quarter of a cucumber. Um, it's about, say, two inches, nothing very big. And we did English cucumber because, you know what? Hey, did they get their toothbrushes? They did. Okay, you got your toothbrushes. Um, English cucumbers, honestly, they, I feel like you have less big seeds, less water, even though it's, it is predominantly, predominantly a water um, vegetable. Yeah, it's less, I'm sure Barley lost his kitchen privileges long ago. Oh yeah, he was so naughty. I oh guess my god, oh my god, hold on. Are you we... guys don't move. His face is on the chair. 
That's, that's his divider because we oh don't. Oh my god, his face is on the chair. We don't have a doggy divider, <laughs> and I refuse to get one. They make me sad. They're like little cages. Remind me, remind me to tell you the Deanna tuna tartar story sometime. All right. Sure thing. So I'm slicing the cucumbers. Should um, we make Wisconsin steak tartar next time? It, like Cannibal it, sandwiches? No, no, thank you. <laughs> My dad loves those. I'm slicing. Uh, okay, barley. I'll in, give you it a pet. into uh, four pieces, and this is going to be a really, really small mince. Little QB cubes again. Yeah. Oh my god, Barley. You're not allowed over here. Okay, he needs a treat. Give him the, the sweet potato one. What's this which sweet potato one? Uh that's the one um my parents brought. For Maxi. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's uh un in the cabinet. Oh no! Oh no, it's broken. No, it's fine. I just hit this button and it's good again. It's good. Where right, do we get, get where do we get our accents from? <laughs> Part of it's like Borat and, where are they? Oh, okay. They like those. And then um, give them. Sweet potato. This is what the dogs get. This is a sweet potato. Is that, that's too hot. All that's right. bright. All right. So you see how tiny these are? My pinky nail is pretty small. It's about the size of my pinky nail. But I think it's it's pretty perfect in the sense of you, you don't want to take a big bite of cucumber, especially when you're eating tuna that's about, the dices are about twice its size. So that's that. And now we're going to dice up our avocado. And since this is a nice ripe avocado, I'm going to just do a nice thick dice. Don't give in to the sad face. Too late, Tim. We gave in. <laughs> it's impossible to not give in to sad face. Especially barley sad face. It's the best sad face. I'm gonna go get a charger for the, the iPad. So okay. keep everyone entertained. All right, so I'm dicing up this avocado. Again, don't dice it up too small because we're gonna be stirring it. And that's it. We're gonna mix it all up together in a bowl and be very gentle. This is something like kind of when you're doing something with a uh, like you're flip, you're molding in like uh, egg whites. It's a very delicate process. You overdo it, then it becomes mushy, and well, that's not good. Especially because this dish too is such a visually pretty dish. We want to make sure we do it right. So, boom, we have our avocado cucumber mix in there, and then we're gonna squeeze some lime because obviously acidity keeps things nice, bright, and pretty. So I'm gonna do half a lime. And when we're mixing this, we gotta make sure that we're not over mixing it because the avocado will smoosh. Yes. Yeah. And then I did that right away because now we're gonna put some cilantro and we're just gonna do a little bit because we're also gonna garnish some on top. Cool. I'm gonna do a little more. Yeah, get in there, get cilantro. All right, and this one we are gonna do really, really thin. So, mush it up as much as possible. Ooh, Max almost is breaking in. Ooh, I lost the lime. So, mush Don't give in the sad face or it'll be the scene from a Christmas story and will be going out for Chinese. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, where they get the... Is this one spent? Yes. So, we're gonna grab that cilantro now and ploop her in. And the rest is salt and pepper. If you haven't, did you do that? No, I think I'm just gonna put salt because our pepper grinds are gonna be big. Oh yeah. I mean, we can make them smaller. Right? So about a teaspoon. I think it's good. Okay. Yeah. And now, just mix this up with that lime. You just want to make sure to separate all the chunks because you don't want to smoosh them like a, like a guacamole. Barley, you need to stop it right now. And honestly, that's it. Oh, this looks so good, Kale. Can I try some? Yeah. And if you see any pieces that are like maybe they need to be cut in half a little bit, we can definitely do that. You know that. what I forgot to put in there? Onion. Oh. You guys, we forgot to put this onion in. Remember oops, when oops. we bought an onion? Oops, oops, oops. So let's do that. 
We know how to do our recipes. <laughs> Sometimes we just get in the mood and I just like, I forget. Okay, so this one's just actually very little. I'm gonna do one slice, so about a quarter inch thick. And the reason why I cut it with the, the skin on is because it's a very easy process to peel. Oh no. Why does this always do it to us? It's okay. Always. I'm just mincing up this onion, super, super small. And I'm sure everyone knows how to mince up an onion. Raw onion can sometimes be a little heavy on the palate, so the smaller you do it, the better, so you're not getting a big chunk of onion bite. You could also, you don't have to necessarily put this in because you're also putting scallions into the mix, or green onions, either or. You guys, this is sad. Whatever floats your boat. We're gonna need this camera, so I'm gonna have to do this stupid thing now. Free software, guys. This okay. is why we need to buy software. Oh, I don't know what language you're saying, but okay. So this is about two teaspoons of uh, that white onion. And again, I'm gonna fold it in here very lightly because I've already done a nice amount of mixing. So fold it in there nice and lightly. And because we have quite some more of uh, cooking to do. Ooh, this onion's making me cry. Where's those onion glasses? Oh my God, onion glasses, Laura. Shout out to you, girl. And everyone needs to see me with my, on my onion glasses, Kale. Yeah, we'll see them in one second. <laughs> the onion the glasses are seriously amazing, you guys. This is the best thing. Honestly. Show them. Put your face up. Get in front of that camera. No, no, the one that you are just by. Wait, oh, okay. This one? Yeah. <laughs> you guys, these are the onion glasses. <laughs> they are so awesome. And you know what? They're cute because they have some good color. But they also have like, like foam grips on the side. So I feel like very like. They're kind of like motorcycle glasses. Trendy, right? Biking glasses. Kind of cool right now. The, yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I'm crying right now, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm crying behind the glasses too because, well, I put them on too late, um, and that's okay. And now, plastic wrapping this avocado mix, and we're gonna put it in the fridge with our tuna. And so, a lot of that process of the tuna is done, with the exception of, do you wanna try it like now? Yeah. Mmm, yummy kill. Oh yeah, this is gonna be really good, guys. It's gonna be awesome. Hold on, we're gonna do a socket thing. <laughs> socket to me? The socket is in the back of the thing. All right. Oh, this is also open too. Oop. You did that. Mm -hmm. The amount of times that Kale leaves doors open, cabinets open, drawers open. You can't prove it. I love you. I love you. <laughs> but you can't prove it. Wait. I don't get any? Oh yeah, you had some. <laughs> <laughs> I had some, but then I sipped it. <laughs> and then I needed some more. And then I needed some more. Okay, so another cool thing too is, um, anybody like wasabi? I'm a huge fan of wasabi. Uh, I also love like horseradish, it's kind of neck and neck. We're gonna make an aioli. And this is really fun too because onion glasses are now available at Pearl Vision and other fine optical retailers. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, this is awesome. So this one's really fun. Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna just reuse one of these bowls. Can I rinse this one? Sure. Or you know what? No, I have to use a cup. I have to and use... while can you lift your left? While Jazz is doing that, I'm gonna get the these ready for um, the kimchi pancake. And kind of rearrange this stuff over here for kimchi pancake making. Olivia, I kind of have to show everyone how to make the sauce. Right? Yeah, we've got a bunch. We got multiple cameras. Oh, you got. Uh, I'm just showing you. I'm getting stuff ready. I think well, I only see one camera. Though. Oh yeah, because I didn't switch it. <laughs> there you go. I know how it's a camera. I felt bad. I didn't want you to. 
do it and then yeah so i'm gonna do half a cup of mayo so i'm gonna just turn this oven down because we were gonna oven some of those but then we didn't half a cup of mayo and you can also use greek yogurt uh that's okay but we're gonna do mayo and the one thing that at least i'm not sure about is wasabi is normally green when you see it at like a sushi place but our powder is kind of white yeah it was made from horseradish and wasabi so this yeah. is like a blend there's like looking at the ingredients that's all that's in there like there's no there's no other additives to it which kind of makes me feel good about the product but it's not going to be that traditional green color maybe we put some avocado in it we totally could nah make it super like honestly just, that's not a bad idea but then we'd I, have to blend it yeah i don't want to blend it i don't want to emulsify it yeah we're good it's called a rolling pin <laughs> There's also a training program left. Oh, Tim says there's a training program for left open cabinets. It's called a rolling pin. I don't get it. So do you like hang the rolling pin from the cabinet and it like auto closes it or? What happens is you leave it open and then I come behind you <laughs> and then I hit you in the head. <laughs> I like your idea, Tim. <laughs> And then, because, like, I would do that, but then, like, oh, I'm going to go find the rolling pin, <laughs> you know. But then it's going to be somewhere else because she moved it. Naughty. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so half a cup of mayo. And then I'm going to put two teaspoons of our wasabi powder. Do not sniff it because it is very strong. Is it? Can I sniff it? And then. Woo! Yeah. Told you. Oh, yeah. I'm going to rinse this. And you do want to use um, a little either water or soy sauce to dilute it. We are going to use soy sauce because, well, water's kind of boring. <laughs> so I'm going to just do a splash of, of the uh, soy sauce. So it's about a half a teaspoon. And honestly, you just mix it up. It's a very easy process. I can't wait to taste this. You think it's gonna be spicy? Yeah, it'll have the same kick as like everything else. Honestly, I'm really excited. She will, she's Will Smithing him and they're not even married yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That controversy. I feel like everywhere we go to, like in, in line of the grocery store. Everyone's on, talking about it. Everyone's talking about it. Well, I mean, it was pretty awesome. <laughs> and you definitely were sleeping. I woke up to we you. We were watching the Oscars. She woke up to me going, oh my God. Oh, you know what? I have an idea. Maybe putting a little lime zest on here might be cool. Okay. You guys, we're going to do a lime zest on there. I got you. Thanks, so. Just a smidge. That'll add a really pretty green color to it. And some cool, like, acidity because the mayo with the fat. That's good. I think that's good. There you go. Kale likes lime. I love lime. I love lamp. See, look at this. This looks pretty. Too soon? Never too soon. Which one does the dishes after the show? Um, uh, we can, well, we, can, we both do. We tag team it. We also have a dishwasher. Yeah. But in, they don't all fit usually, so how is it? Just be careful. Woo! Whoa! Yep. But imagine everything together. Woo! I like it. You, you don't like it. I think it needs lime. Really? But think about the acid in the tuna. Okay, no, you're right. You yeah, know, it's just really spicy. It'll be good. No, it's going to be good. <laughs> it's spicy, yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and now we're going to put it in our little... We have these cool little tubi bottles, and we do this. We add sauces into here. Um, whenever you want to do some like more like intricate plating, it's really neat. And you can put it in it whatever you want. Yeah, so we're going to do that now. 
Where is the... The funnel? Funnel. Right Over there. And we can't see it. We do the, where, where's the big one with the big mouth? Mm. You're gonna need that one. That one instead? Kale knows. Thanks, see this one, you'll never get all that stuff through that little guy. Yeah. Blah. This is like a tornado. Blah. So. If Jeff would say that's a, a stemless martini glass, but it's definitely a tor tornado. <laughs> a stemless martini glass. Ooh, martinis are so good though. They are good. Who's, what's everyone's preference for a martini? Does everyone like a, a gin martini, a vodka martini? Whatever it is, not olives. <laughs> Cause olives are gross. They shouldn't be in anything. Oh my God, I love it. A nice Except blue. oil. A the only thing olive should be is an oil. Or wine. What? Oil. Well, like grapes. Uh, we're talking about olives. So olives. Why would should... olives be in wine? Well, because olives. Oh wait, I'm getting something mixed up. Never mind. I'm thinking. What kind of wine? Olive wine. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know like... what? I, I'm, I'm just in that my That sounds own, terrible. I'm just in my own world right now. I'm just doing my own thing. Disregard everything that I I like it when Kale makes it for me. Are you talking about... Is he talking about martini? Oh, espresso. Yep. Espresso oh, martini. Oh, espresso martini. Vodka extra dry, extra dirty. Oh. Yes. Who said that? No, Deanna. Deanna, I'm with you on no. that. No. God, no. Wait, so vodka... Um, what's your preference of vodka? Because seriously, ooh, look at it. It's like pooping. Whoa. It's like milking a cow. No, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's not at all, actually. <laughs> I don't even know what that's like. All right, cool. The sauce is going in the fridge. Making progress. All right, we have one more sauce to make, and then we're done with sauce. And then... And the last sauce is... It is going to be a spicy mayo, a sriracha mayo, a sriracha We just did a mayo. Yeah, but we're doing um, another one. Okay. I think we could just do sriracha. You don't want to do the aioli side of it? We could. I saw we were doing sriracha. This one is going to be a little, like, not too bad. I okay. promise. We can use Greek yogurt if you want. No. I like it. It's good with the chips. I think we should just do sriracha. All right. Can I make some for me then? Sure. <laughs> well, I also think it'll be cool for everyone to see. We planned these things, you guys. We totally did, and now he's going to. Get... We didn't. I don't remember planning this this sauce. I thought it was just a sriracha that we were going to use. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, this one's really quick. So, I am going to get. Two teaspoons of sriracha. All right. Or actually, two teaspoons because it's a tablespoon. Or three. There you go. And then we're going to add lime juice. Half a lime. We're going to add black sesame seeds, and that's going to be half of that, half a teaspoon. I don't think we'll be able to pour this one. Okay. And then we're going to add that mayonnaise. Where did it go? I put it away. Oh, may I get it, please? And then half a cup. Oh, here. We'll use this one. It still has mayo in it. That's fine. In the earlier batch. Yeah, this is going to cut the spice. Mm -hmm. I want the full spice in mine. Okay. We'll definitely add more sriracha for you, love. Do you want to do another splurt of sriracha? No, I'll just, I'll just do straight up okay. sriracha. Here, I'll do a third of a cup of mayo. How about that? All right, cool. And then... Scoop her all out. Mix it really quickly. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This is a cool sauce too because when I was working in the, the sushi restaurant, we did this a lot and people liked it when they just dipped like their 
their rolls into it, dipping your french fries. Um, it's a really good aioli. And it's super simple. Is this for the pancake? No, it's for the tuna oh, okay. tartare. All right, do you want to try it? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Mm. It's really good. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm a huge fan. All right, so fan. we're gonna go over to the stove now, and I'm gonna start working on the kimchi pancakes. And we wanna start working on getting our pan hot, and you wanna get the pan hot before you put the oil in it. And we're gonna use canola oil, like we normally do with most of our things that we kind of pan fry. I'm gonna grab the kimchi pancake batter, which is still here. I'm really curious to see how this is gonna go. I'm not gonna lie, guys. This is our first time doing this, but it's gonna work out. But what inspired us to do kimchi pancakes? Uh, well, that was all you. you. You said kimchi pancake, but we always love our kimchi pancakes from the restaurant Dan Dan. That's what I was saying. Dan Dan is our, our go-to place for... It they, is. They do such a good job. Oh. And I used to never like kimchi until Dan Dan's kimchi pancakes. And Kale got me hooked onto them. And that's... Yeah, you never used to like kimchi at all. No. Kimchi is so good, though. I was like really just like not a fan. <laughs> I'm also gonna start our water for the edamame. Cause edamame goes quick once you start, you just gotta steam it. All yes. right, so you wanna hit three. This is happening. There we go, yep, it's getting warm. That's pretty hot there. Now I'm gonna put a couple tablespoons of oil in there. And let that go around. And I think I'm only gonna be able to do one at a time, which is fine. Uh, where is that thing for this? We need this. We have another one of those, right? Another rack? Yes, we do. Um, Kale, I would like to... I'm right. banging around, guys, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. So we just need another rack for our kimchi pancakes once we bring them off the uh, the oil. And I will do that like this. Okay. So this is actually just kind of like a regular pancake. You take a, like a quarter cup scoopula. Scoopula. And... We're just gonna do it like this. And it's gonna cook. And hopefully it does, it cooks like I, I imagining it, it's going to cook. And per usual, that looks, looks really solid. Oh, I put the plate for you off to the side, Bob, or no. Oh, I'll, for the kimchi pancakes? I'll use that for the mushrooms, actually. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I think I was gonna put it on a rack. And there it goes. How's it look, guys? Sizzling. What do we got going on here? You are not the same after two martinis. <laughs> you know what? Uh, ditto. Olive wine. Siroc or Tito's? Tito's is good. Kettle one, yep. Oh, Ciroc. Josh, what's up? All the hot sauce, please. Yes. Siroc is so good, actually. It's nice and sweet. I'm with you on that. You know what? I think I'm going to pour us some tea. Okay. Tea time. Do some tea. You want to show everyone the... My so pancake flipper? Oh, wait, what are we showing? The tea time. So <laughs> Not the pancake flipper? <laughs> I have these really cool cast iron um, cups that, thanks to Angie, my best friend, who got me this really beautiful kit from uh, Tivana. And it's cast iron, so I never wash it with soap. I know it sounds gross, but it has a lot of great flavor in there. And I poured hot tea. But the cool thing about the cast iron, because it keeps um, the cups really nice and hot. And now... I got one for you. Yes. And one for me. Ooh, it's hot. It's really hot. Mmm. Barley. Mm, He's yeah. growling. That's yummy. Okay. What's going on here? Nice flipper. Yes. 
Look at this thing! <laughs> but you know what? I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to use the metal one. And oh, that... I, put, I put it out for you. Oh, it's out already, guys. See? It's out already. Uh, let's see how this is looking. It's looking good. Oh, yeah! Look at that thing! Is this hot? Nope. You guys, this is turning out exactly how I'd hoped. Can we get in there? Let's get in a, let's get in a tighter shot of this thing. It looks great. Oh my gosh. So while Kale's cooking those um, pancakes, what I'm going to get going is our fried oyster mushrooms. And it's actually really simple. You just need a little salt, one egg, a little bit less than a cup, so two thirds of uh, cornstarch, a container of your oyster mushrooms, and a big bowl. So first things first is I'm gonna crack the egg into our big bowl. Put that off to the side. And now I'm gonna clean up these mushrooms. So the, co the, the goal is to clean off the dead ends to see, make sure there's no hard ends. You guys are gonna turn the fan on a little bit. And then if you need to break them up, by all means, cut them in half. They're kind of like interesting little creatures, <laughs> I guess you could say, because they come in big clusters. Creatures? Yeah. Well, it's a fungus, so. And I'm gonna put the kimchi pancakes in the oven on warm, so they stay warm. So breaking them up, make sure there's no hard ends. Fish turner, yep. While I'm headed over, see you in eight hours. See you then. We will see you then. Aw. Who's heading over? Buddy Josh from Missouri. Hey. Cool. Cutting some more ends off. Ah! <clears throat> and then, what I'm gonna do is get that egg. The splashes, guys, the splashes. And I'm gonna whisk it up. Break that yolk. And I'm gonna slowly add this cornstarch in there. The shrooms look amazing, says Jeffus. Thanks! I love oyster mushrooms. You know what? This is a little bit thicker than I anticipated, and I want to just lightly coat them. So I think I might add, oh, you know, it's thinning up. Perfect. Let's add some more of this. And I know it, it sounds crazy. You're like, why wouldn't you rinse off your mushrooms? Because then they get really rubbery, and that's never good. I'm actually going to add another egg, guys, because... This is a little too thick for my liking. Do you want this on medium? I just want it to start getting hot. Okay, we gotta put it on both coils. Okay. There we go. Let's get that egg broken up into there. Great. Perfect. Got these kimchi pancakes going. Because you know what, in honesty, this mushroom, you don't want it to be like too breaded. It's a really beautiful mushroom, and when you over batter it, it's not really good. So, to be honest, guys, I'm only using half of this. So, I know I said to use about two thirds. Let's use half of two thirds and two eggs, because I want this batter to be really light. Put some salt in there. I want to say about a teaspoon. So, we have all these beautiful sauces to go with this. Great. And you see how loose that is? Nice and loose. Nice and loose. And then quickly, I won't put this in the fry until I know that the oil's hot. Okay. Um, we also, guys, we have edamame, which is just honestly in the freezer. Uh, I want to cut these, if you can see. Just cut these open, and we're just going to steam them. And if you see on our camera here, we will have the steamer going as well as 
Let me turn this down a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to throw these in the steamer because this should be starting to go. We love edamame. We do. There's water in here, right? Yes. Okay, cool. And so honestly, it takes about maybe like six minutes for it to just defrost. Not very long process, which is nice. Cool. So as Kale did that, I put the mushrooms into the egg batter and I'm actually using chopsticks to um, mix it up. And I'm trying to just coat every end. You could use a fork, whatever works for you. Um, I know trying to work around it and move things with chops, especially when they're so like wet, it's okay. It's a little hard. All right, now I'm gonna test this frying oil over here. Levy, can I scooch this? Yep. Thanks. I'm gonna test one mushroom. Not yet, not even close. Okay, we're gonna wait. In the meantime, what's up chat? Oh my God, I got starch all over me. Let me turn this up. Yeah, I think we need to. Okay. What I am gonna do is, I'm gonna get the strainer here so we can put. One thing we can do is for a garnish for the, um, it's gonna kind of sit underneath the tuna tartare. We're gonna do a little bit of cucumber and the mandolin. And just really thin, thin layers of cucumber. We make it in like a circle. And that's gonna sit right under it. It's gonna be really cool. There I you flipped, go. I flipped your pancake. Thank you. So it's getting kind of brown. Okay. Great. So the tuna, we're gonna plate on here. And this was Jasmine's idea. We're gonna do a nut, cool little. So you do it kind of. Yep. Yeah. Cool little fan out of cucumbers. Oop, not that one. Here, let's flip that one like that. Perfect. Boom. And we'll do one more. Because we both get one. We're both hungry. Jazz is going to put that kimchi pancake in the oven. Yeah, I didn't have quite even pressure on these cucumbers, did I? It's okay. There we Honestly? go. And then I'll eat the rest. Because <laughs> cucumbers are good. You got one more in there, and then we'll kind of just scoot it around a little bit like this. Because it makes it a little bit flatter. Actually, I could do... No, it's fine. It's fine. Are you sure? Be good. Yep. Get as much as I can out. <laughs> cool. So, also, Kale did that. I'm going to check on that oil for my mushrooms. Ah! I splat it every single time, guys. It never fails. All right. I yeah, you're finally able to watch live. Hi, Johnny. What's up? What's up? Welcome. Y'all need a standalone app with recipes, live notifications. We need this. All right, yeah, I'm in. And a celebrity host. Come on now. We already have us. It's not hot enough. We already have us. I think I might have to, once you're done with that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, ah! I didn't even see that. Oh, rats. I gotta do my slide in again. And a celebrity. Wow, Genius Celebrity Host. You have us. <laughs> <laughs> Kale's tote's awesome. Here we go. All right. Be old Tuffle. There's our last kimchi pancake. This is Dunsey's. You know what? I'm gonna flip it because this one is acting a little weak sauce right now. Acting weak sauce? And I'm gonna flip this one to here. Okay. And do this. We will do that. And then do this. Hopefully, keep that lid on there to get there nice and hot. Cool. Put this on the plate. 
Dance. Well, that's big jazz face. It was a big face. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Um, this one can go off. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Look at this, guys. We're doing. We're doing it. Where's my sake? This is the most important part. Cheers. So my trick is putting that in the oil, and it's not catching. So I'm gonna wait. Really? Yeah, not yet. It's not sizzling on the actual mushroom when it's in there, so I'm just going to patient, 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 patient. So while we... Let me tell you a little thing about patience. Can you hit oh, two, Jazz? Are we going to do the carrot slices yet? No, because I forgot we are going to put that in the pancake, but then we didn't. I have an idea. So, see this steaming? These edamames? You just steam them, and then you put, like, chunky salt on them, and then that's it. That's it. That's it. Mila Kunis, celebrity host, Twin Day with Jasmine. Aww. <laughs> I'm thinking Charles Nelson Riley. Wait, he's dead. I don't know who that. I don't know who that is. <laughs> How do you know when these edamames are done? Um. Hey you try Siri. one, and if it burns your mouth, then you're good. <laughs> hey Siri, set a six-minute timer. It has what did we do with the cylinder thingy? I put it in there. Cool. We need this. So I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Tim's amazing device that he got us and make little julienne carrots. Yeah. I have an idea. Siri, you know what, Siri? Oh, yeah. Look at that thing. Here, let's move this stuff so we can see this happening, guys. Tim, this thing is cool. Oh, no. Well. That camera's dead to me. I'm totally gonna do an improv right now. So let's grab a, a bowl and we're gonna do a little carrot salad. We're gonna we are? Get some... Oh, I thought we were gonna put this with the, the kimchi pancake. We are. We're gonna make a little salad out of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have an idea. I don't have a bowl. Um, you got a bowl right here. What? We can grab the white bowl underneath. All right, I think that's good. So we did some nice, you can get a, like a zoodler or Something like this is perfect, but we have some strings of carrots and they're really nice and long. And what I think I'm gonna do is- I'm Are we winning? Yes, we are winning. We are winning seven to five, in fact. What are you talking about? <laughs> Someone asked, are we winning? We're winning, yeah, seven to five. It's official. Seven to five what? We just, seven to five, what does it matter? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> sure. <laughs> We're winning seven to five. Is that what it is? Yeah. Awesome sauce. Okay, so let's do, I'm gonna just improv right now. I'm, I'm really feeling good about this. Good. So I'm gonna grab some of these green onions. I'm feeling good about hitting this five button. There you go. And then we're gonna add some black sesame seeds. Where's those black sesame seeds? So I did about a, a teaspoon of black, or of green onions, scallions. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of black sesame seeds. Let's add, a splash of sesame oil. So I'm saying a tablespoon. And we're gonna do a tablespoon, equal parts of rice wine vinegar. Rice wine? Rice wine. And then we're gonna add some honey. Oh yeah, honey. these are ready. These are ready? Yeah, all right, hit oh, three. Wait, hit three, wait, wait, wait. Ready? Yay. I was gonna coat them back into cornstarch. Oh. But that's okay. You guys, it, actually they'd be fine like without it, right? Yeah. There we go. All right, I think that's good enough. Right there, I don't want to overcrowd it. Perfect. Perfect. So I'm gonna take about two minutes, or oh, maybe a minute. I'm gonna constantly flip them. I need to know where to get one of those peeler things that you guys have. This thing is called zoodlechef.com. Peeler, so it does like um, regular peel, so like you can just like a slice, but this one peels and does like a uh, like a julienne kind of too. All right, perfect. It's awesome. This is done. Taking these out, putting them on some paper towels. Kale, do you want to salt these up real quick and just put some? Um... Yeah, should we use the Himalayan sea salt? Yeah. Where is it? 
Let's show them. Pink sea salt. Beautiful. And then... Jazz add, will know. Add the rest of these. It's so cool how, like, you can get such a beautiful batter off of uh, cornstarch and just some eggs. I've never done that. That's cool. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like your own version of like a tempura. Oh, that's good. I don't want to overdo it. Cool. And what I do, I use a slotted spoon and I just constantly like flip it. Just constantly moving it, constantly moving it. Honestly, it's about a minute for a fry. It's really, really fast. Once you see them light, like kind of turning a nice little gold color, you just take them off, put them on a piece of paper towel, and salt them right away while they're nice and hot. Oh, I haven't had the honey yet. Can you do about a teaspoon of honey? Yeah, we're gonna do about a teaspoon of honey in the... Cool. I want you to mix in it. Um, maybe do a splash of soy sauce. Splash of soy sauce. Perfect. And then let's try it. I'm curious. Okay, so with the kimchi pancake, we're gonna do another sauce. It's basically just soy sauce and rice wine vinegar. Oh, I put some sesame oil too. Oh, oh you're doing another one. This is for the kimchi pancake. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Sorry. And then I put that in a little, one of these little guys. And there we go. Jazz is keep going. How do you prevent oil splashes? Low heat? Um, yeah, honestly, you don't want to have your, your oil like scorching. Like You want to have it hot enough, but you don't want it to have it like at 500. So it's always good to have a thermometer there next next to you. What are you going to do with all the oil after you're done? We let well, it chill. We, and then we, we, we let it cool, and then we strain it, and we put it back in the jug, and we reuse it. This one's been reused. This is the third time. Maybe so the third time, I think. Maybe this is this is it. This is probably <laughs> it. So this is probably getting put back in here and going to the dump. And not just in the landfill. There's an oil receptacle that you can put it in. And there you go. There it is. I'm, I'm going to turn off the edamame because actually I'm going to try one. Oh, yeah. They're perfect. Turn them off. Woo! It's like a hot pocket. Okay. We need a big bowl. For edamame. And the last and final thing, we are plating the tuna tartare. And salt right here. And here we go. Number five. So here's our tuna uh, tartare plate. We got the shiggity. It's a little hot, but Is try it? it. Oh my God, mushrooms really good. How was the salad? Did you try it? Mm-hmm. So this is our mold, our form. Actually, can we get this guy over here too? So we wow. can have a double cam? This salad, this carrot salad is so good. Because you're going to want to see this from the side too. So we need five and three. Very impressed. So this is going to go right at the top here. And first we're going to get our avocado and cucumber. And then our tuna. Tuna luma. Avocado and cucumber are going to go first. And basically you just scoop it in there. And actually what I'm going to kind of do first is you take a little bit of olive oil spray and then you just coat the inside. I'm going to take this little olive oil spray. I'm going to coat the inside of it over the sink. Just so it kind of, it'll fall out a little better so it doesn't stick to the sides. So I'm going to stick that right there. And I'm going to start scooping this into it. And we're not going to move it. <laughs> I have your chips I already right screwed there. one up right here, guys. Oh, 
Oh no, a light went out. I can fix that. Stand by. Stand by. So while Kale's fixing that, I go in there and I'm just gonna press down on this avocado. And the reason why I'm doing that is just to really firm everything together as we add more layers. So it gives you some good hold. You notice that it's not gonna completely fall apart. If you don't do this process, you'll, you'll notice some gaps. So I will say it's ex extremely important. Now, the next process will be our tuna. Again, we would use a fresh spoon because you don't want it to mix the colors. You'll have like a flag essentially. Here we go. This is our main main event right here. The tuna. And I'm gonna go just a little bit under the top. And then you press down again so that everything gets nice and formed. And now we're going to quick get this off of here. And then, if we're lucky, this works. There it is. Beautiful. Ta-da! And the light went out again. You guys, we're going one light tonight. <laughs> and then we're gonna do a little scallions on the top. And those are gonna go away. A couple cilantro wings, and I'm gonna just, yeah, we're fine. You guys, we're totally fine. And then we're going to do a couple different platings. So we got all sorts of sauces, right? So Jazz has one plating that we're going to do. She's going to do that on this one because this was her idea and I'm not really familiar with it. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some crispy chips on top. Oh my God, that looks so cool. And I think yours might be better than mine. No, it'll be good. No, yours looks cool. Yours looks better. Dang it. No, no, no. What are people saying? We got to vote. Side view. Hold on. We're going to get a side view. We're going to make this camera go down more. Let's see. Ultra wide. We'll do wide angle. There we go. Side view. Oh, my God. Yours is so good. I'm going home. No, you're not. I'm going home. You're, you are home. <laughs> um, this is not fair. Yeah, you gotta get hit that on the hit that like the like Subway does. You hit it on the counter. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, I see. Oh. It's okay. Oh. Yep, that's cool. That's cool. You guys, that's cool. Not gonna lie. Whale tail. And Barley's growling again. Yep, that's amazing. And then... Ta-da! I'm actually gonna... Let's see. I can stretch this out a little bit more. There we go. That's cool. And then... Yes, you guys, look at that. And look at that. That's all I have for you all. <laughs> all right, now my turn. Let's go. We're moving one more in here, guys. Where is the... There it is. Nope, that's not it. We're scoopulating the same thing we did last time. We're going to get plug-in lights. We can. I'm yeah. down. Whatever works. Because battery lights are the bane of my existence. <laughs> Aww. It's like the last three shows we had a light go out because of battery. Ah, it's okay. It happens. Okay. 
We are plating. We're gonna have a lot of leftover tuna. We're just gonna have to eat it. Eat it all. This, like seriously guys, this is probably the best tuna tartare we've made. I'm so excited. So far. Here we go, we push it down, cause you wanna get it packed in, just, just enough. And then you should be able to shiggity it off. And then, you will take your round thingy. And then you do that. And you put some of these on the middle. And you take a jalapeno. Make it really slice. Thin. Ah! You guys, this is fine. <laughs> this is totally fine. And then we have some cilantro to go in the middle. Little of those green onions are fine. And then, we will take some of the, is this the sriracha one? The sriracha one is this one. Oh, I mean the wasabi one. Yes. So, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to have them separate. But this is fun. This is what we do. Now, to remember the, the correct way that they go. I'm gonna take a little mini spoon, and then I'm gonna... There we go. And then this one will go this way. Beautiful, lovey. Boom! You guys, we freaking love cooking, and we love even more that you guys watch with us. But there's that, look at that. So pretty. I'm gonna stick this one over here. And while Kale does that, I just stacked up oh, all of our mushrooms together. And this is gonna go with the kimchi pancake. And this is our last plating, the kimchi pancake and the mushrooms. Oh, we're gonna do the mushrooms on top of the kimchi pancakes, right? Oh, uh, no, 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 let's have mushrooms be a side. Those, those look amazing by themselves. Just doing a little bit of a green onion on the side. And then, because they're nice and crispy, I don't want to add too much. And then I was going to just do a nice little salt garnish again on top. Because the Himalayan salt's nice and pink and pretty. And voila. Here's our kimchi pancake. We're going to put a little of this right here. Actually, I'm going to put that under it. That looks awesome. Get some more cilantro. This cilantro on top of that. Kind of just break it up on top. Remove all stems. And then this is a little full, but this is supposed to go with the kimchi pancake. We can just put it on the side right here. And then right here. And you put that there. Boom. And then we put this over here. And by the rest of the stuff. That's it, right? It is. <laughs> and this is a great success. And we're going to go ahead and show everyone what we got. Yes. And the cool thing is... Can is you that hand me that camera? Oh, of course. And then... Oh, wait, and then hit three. Here's... We got our... Tuna tartars. More chippies. Our kimchi pancakes. Amazing mushrooms. Edamame. Green tea. Sake. You guys. This is amazing. We are going to go eat this. And Jazz is going to pour some more sauces. She's going to hit. I'm going to hit one on the keyboard. And we're going to thank everyone for being with us. And the dogs are so hungry, even though they ate already. Max is trying to get in. Lights are dying. But this is part of a live show. Things happen. Don't they? Oh, they sure do. Um, Seriously, though, thanks everyone for watching. <laughs> you guys are beer? awesome. What are people saying? 
Kitty's meowing at the TV. Oh, Always amazed at your combined oh. talents. Geo says hi. What's up? Hey. <laughs> but thanks for watching. This might be yours, actually. I think I drank mine. I have tea. <laughs> Max got in. Max is in. We love you guys. Uh, make I'm sure to hit the subscribe button. Tell your friends to subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. We're still doing a giveaway at 100 um, subscribers on YouTube. It's free. Yes. So hit that. Tell your friends. Send you, send the link to your friends. Just say hit subscribe. It doesn't matter. And when honestly, if when you guys do, like, if anybody has made any of our recipes, please let us know. We yeah. want to know your feedback, if it went well, and how we can help. And honestly, we wish we can cook for all of you. So thanks for supporting us um, via mm. YouTube. And check us out on Instagram. Yes. At Mise en Place, M-K-A. E M I S E E N P L A C E M K E on you uh, Instagram. All right, let's eat. We'll see you guys. Let's Have eat. a good weekend. See ya. Stay warm, stay cold, whatever you're feeling. Wherever you're at. Wherever you're at. <laughs> we'll see you guys. Thank you.